everybody, Kelsey here with ToyNotes.com. Today I'm sitting with the LeapFrog Count Along Register, and this is the toy that we'll be looking at today and reviewing for you guys. It's rated for ages two and up, um, and it's supposed to teach about counting and colors in a fun way while the register talks along with your child. So let's get this guy unboxed, see what we've got in the packaging, and then play around a little bit, shall we? Okay guys, so we got this open and I will say the packaging was fairly easy. Um, the worst part of it was these little black clips that were at the bottom of the cash register, but they really easily just twist it out and they're easy to get rid of. We've got several little items here and they are oh so cute. We've got a little carton of milk, little bread and cheese, we've got some strawberries, grapes, carrots, and peas. We also have some eggs, whoop, be careful with those, and forms of payment, a credit card, and several of these little gray adorable coins. So now let's take our closer look and play around with this toy a little. It's so cute! All right, it's time for a closer look at our LeapFrog Count Along Register. Um, right off the bat, this toy is adorable. The face pad here is interactive. It's got numbers 1 through 10, a total button, as well as all the products that come with the LeapFrog Count Along Register. We have uh, milk, bread, eggs, a block of cheese, and some produce in the form of peas, grapes, a carton of strawberries, and some carrots. It also comes with forms of payment, including a store credit card, and then all these little gray one coins. The register opens and closes, which is a nice feature. This is the button to open and close. This red button here is supposed to be your scanner for scanning all the items in your transaction that day. And then back here, it's pretty self-explanatory. This kickstand is separate um, and just clicks on. Then your batteries are in the head of this unit. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We've got our power button here as well as volume adjust. We have um, all the way up we're going to use today. That way you guys can hear it while I'm playing with it. Open for business. So you can select items on the face of it by Orange fit. carrots. <laughs> Tasty. Yellow cheese. <laughs> Fresh. And then total out. You selected two items. Your total is two coins. Insert two coins. We can pay with our co with our card at Today's the slider. Today's special is red strawberries. So the only thing I see that I don't like about that in particular is it doesn't really register the what do you credit need card. Today? It just Let's stops shop. the transaction sort of thing. So I'm going to pull some coins out so we can pay with coins the next time. And this time I'm going to scan some items. Let's shop. Yummy. Best ever. Yum, yum. Then total. You scanned three items. Your total is three coins. Insert three coins. Let me go in this spot. One coin. Two coins. Three coins. You paid three coins. Enjoy your yummy groceries. We'll go ahead and turn that off. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I think things that could be better is, the scanner could be better. It could be more realistic for kids. 
Um, and then having different forms of currency, like coins that had different numbers on them, might help with counting. Um, but it does its job. It's advertised to help teach counting, and that's what it's doing. It, it counts how many items are being bought and tells you how much you have to put in in order to get those. So it's a pretty good little toy. And that's our closer look on it. That's pretty much all of the features that I found when playing with it. There's nothing on the bottom. Um, and these are all of the accessories it came with. Okay guys, time for final review on our LeapFrog Count Along Register. It's rated for children over two. It only takes a couple AA batteries to run. It comes with some demo batteries to use. Um, I do generally like the toy. It's designed to teach counting and it does that. It has the coins, it, it keeps track of what you're buying and it says, you know, please put in three coins and when you've done that it praises you for it. It's a good little toy. It's not my favorite little toy if I'm totally honest with you. It's a good buy for around 20 bucks. It wasn't bad. Um, so your investment is minimal but these are my issues with it. This is supposed to be your scanner. I really feel like half the fun for me as a kid, my son, and for kids in general when they're playing grocery store or cash register is to scan the items, to hear it go beep. Like that is fun, that was part of it. It wasn't just the transaction portions. You know, if you can think about using your imagination, oh, what did you purchase today? Let me scan those for you. This doesn't do it for me. It, it doesn't look like a scanner. It's just a red button that goes beep. And then it has like three sayings. Great, brilliant, excellent, great purchase. But it really doesn't, there, there's no value there. I really feel like this was either better without it or with a wand of some sort. Um, you know, a wand, it looks like a, like a scanner maybe even programming it so it knew what you were scanning. That wouldn't have been too hard to do, you know. You are scanning green peas and red strawberries. I really feel like that could have added an educational portion to this toy because it does tell you the colors of the things in, in your inventory here if you interact with the touchpad. But realistically, this is not what's fun about a register. What's fun about a register is being able to scan it in and then take the money. So I don't foresee a lot of kids wanting to go right for this touchpad rather than to scan it in. And this gets boring really fast because it has just about three sentences it says. It says. Also, it doesn't reg register the credit card. It doesn't say, you know, thank you for shopping today or anything. It just kind of stops talking about having to pay it. You know, if you use coins, it does, does a little chime as you put them in. It goes bloop, bloop, and then, you know, it says you paid with three coins. But when you run this, it doesn't do anything. It's like it doesn't acknowledge it at all. So those are some drawbacks for this toy. Do I feel like it's a bad toy? No. The replayability value is there, but I don't know for how long because the scanner isn't that great. I think that imaginatively, it's great. These little accessories are adorable. Um... But realistically, I think that the replay value on this toy would be so much greater if the scanner was there. I wouldn't say not to buy it. I don't think that it doesn't have replay value, but I don't think that the age range is as great as it could be if it had just a little bit more thought into it. And the education value would have been, in my opinion, exponentially more with a scanner that could tell you what you were buying. Right now it says, you've purchased three items. But it doesn't say as you're scanning, you know, what the color is or what you're buying and, and reiterate that while your children, around two, they're learning about their world, they're learning about these different products, and it would be so easy to program it into the toy to do that. So I like the toy, but I do have some definite dislikes about it, um, and I want to make sure that I pointed those out because replayability, replayability sorry, is, is affordability for us as parents. When you spend the money, that money comes from somewhere, it comes out of your budget, you're, you want a toy that your child's going to be able to play with long term and it's not just going to sit in the toy box. I'm not sure that this toy has that beyond a few months or a couple of plays just because it gets boring really quick. It, I played with it for a while and I was bored and I'm an adult. So, um, so it's, you know, the Leapfrog Count Along Register, it's adorable, it's educational, but it doesn't really hold up to 
a long replay value. So being that your investment is minimal, it's under $30. I think that that is a plus. If it were more than that, I would say it's really not a good buy. But being that it's a fairly affordable toy, it might be something that you and your family can enjoy for a while and not be too heartbroken over if it doesn't get played with for a long time. So guys, that's it here for ToyNotes.com on the LeapFrog Count Along Register. If you want to be here for more honest, up-to-date parent reviews of the latest and greatest gadgets for our kiddos, you've got to subscribe to the channel and keep coming back for us. We're going to have lots more toys, lots of age ranges, and all kinds of information for you guys. And until next time, see you soon.